Today we're going to do some problem solving with some unknown angle measures. Lots of writing going to happen today, so be ready for that. Let's read here the problem that they gave us. Mr. Tran is cutting a piece of kitchen tile as shown at the right. He needs tiles with 45 degree angles to make a design. After the cut, what is the angle measure of the part left over? Can Mr. Tran use both pieces in the design? Grab your highlighter, because as always, there are a couple of questions that he's asking of us. It says, after the cut, what is the angle measure of the part that is left over? That is your first question. The next one then asks you, can Mr. Tran use both pieces in the design? So what information out of here do I need to circle, as we always do? Again, the 45 degrees. So the tiles need to have a 45 degree angle to make the design. Yes? All right, so at the bottom it says, what do I need to find? I am finding, Go back and look at those questions. What's the first thing it asks us to do? Mackenzie? Okay, so the part that is left over. So pretty much if I cut here, like it tells me, this is the part that we have for the 45 degree angle, correct? So this over here would be the part that's left over, right? So if I was to call this an angle, I would call it what? Can I start anywhere? D, A, B, A, B, D, B, A, D. I can use any of those angles, right? So we're going to say I need to find the angle measure of the part left over. And then we know it is angle, I'll just say A, B, D. The angle measure of the part that is left over, which is angle ABD. And in this case, it does have to be ABD because if you look, that's the angle we're going to measure there. You can also look, but that's the other side that they're already using for the 45 degree angle. Now, if you look in the center, it's asking us what information do I need to use. It tells us that we can use the measures of the angles that I know. Yeah? So they gave us what? What angle did they give us? Okay, so that is for here, your angle of, let's say, D, B, C. I guess you could say C, B, D, it doesn't matter. So angle, I'm going to use D, B, C, is 45 degrees. That's the one they gave us, correct? Now look at the other side of that part of the tile. Where I have my blue markings now is the 45 degrees. If I take that away and I want to use this side, what's the angle there? All right, which is how many degrees? So your angle DCB is 90 degrees. So those are the two on that side that we know. We have to find the ones that are left over, which is the other side. Everybody understand that? And on this part, we're missing the M here, which is the measurement of the angles, and we have two of them, so we need to make sure we have that M in there because we have two. This is the part where we're going to have to do what with our sides of 
our shapes are only going to be one angle. Yes or no? No, there's going to be two. So we have to do what to get a total on what's left over? Guys, let, take a look down at the solving the problem. If they're giving you information and helping you out, use that information. If you have two parts or two angles and I'm trying to find a total, what do I do? I add them, just like I try to find a total in anything else. So it says, how will I use the information? We're going to draw a bar model. And we should know by now how to draw bar models because we've done them a lot this year. Okay? We are going to use the information to show what? What are we finding here? So basically, we know what this side is, right? Because we just figured it. 45 degrees was one angle, 90 degrees was another. What is it that I'm going to find? Elena? The other angle measures, or the other side, or the leftover part. Are there lots of ways we can say this? Yes. So, to find the unknown, because right now we don't know what it is, angle measure. Finding the unknown angle measure. Take a look at the bar model they drew. We're doing it to represent the problem. We can also write an equation to solve that problem. So as you know, in bar models, they put what they know on one side, the total at the bottom. Yes. So as you see, the 45 degrees from here went into this portion. The 90 degrees went down here. Is everybody watching? Okay. And if you can tell, all of your outside angles are what? How many degrees is this? 90. How many degrees is that one? How many degrees is this one? So do you see a pattern here? That's why your 90 is down here. So your angle measure of ABD plus your angle measure of CBD will give you the angle measure of ABC. Now, guys, you know how to read angles, right? So let's look at this. Measure of angle ABD. A-B-D. That's X because that's the one that we don't know. Yes? Okay. Now, if we look at me angle measure CBD, what do we know about it? 45 degrees. So you're going to put that in here. And the total is going to be 90. It's right down here in part of our bar model. Okay. So when you have one of the angle measures and you have a total, how do you find the unknown angle measure? As you've done this. If I know one, but I don't know the other, what's my expression I'm going to be using here? Chan? No. Morgan? Subtraction. I'm going to take the 90 minus the 45 to get what I already need. So what is 90 minus 45? 45. Happens to be 45 degrees. So that means that the angle measure of ABD would also be... 45 degrees. So since both tiles measure 45 degrees, what's it telling us down here? That Mr. Tran can use both pieces in the design because it asks us if he can. That was our second question, right? So one was 45, we found the other one to be 45, so now that they're both 45, we know that he can use both of those pieces. Okay? So guys, this is just like a standard old addition problem, and we are using subtraction to come up with the unknown measure. 
So instead of using just regular numbers, we're using angles. Page. Here's a different one. On this one, it says Marisol is building a frame for a sandbox, but the board she has are too short. She must join two boards together to build a side, as shown. At what angle did she cut the first board? What's our question? At what angle did she cut the first board? Okay. Now, is there any information in the actual problem we read to circle? So where are we looking to get some of the information we need? Add the picture or the model. So we're not going to circle anything, so we're going to need to use that. So I want you to think about what is it that I need to find. Look at what they have there for you, and look at what we are going to find. Kennedy, what are we finding? Well, tell me what we're finding. We all need to be able to answer this. Okay, but which one of the angles up here am I searching for? Look at where they have information and look at where you need to find. All right, so we need to find, or you can say I need to find the angle, excuse me, the measure of the angle, and he says it's HJL. Because if you look, they have found this side. So we need to find this side. And they actually put an X in there for you. All right, so once we know that, what's the information that we need to use? Now, they gave us what number? 55 degrees. So what's the angle there? Which one is it? Angle of the... Measure the angle what? I can call it KJL or I could have called it LJK as long as your vertex of J is in the center. And we know that that is 55 degrees. And I can't make the degree symbol on this, so I'm going to have to write it. Okay, now you might not have thought about this one, but there's one that it gives you here that you don't probably think about often. Take a look at the bottom of your sandbox, which is her frame that she's making for it. You just told me that the angle KJL was 55. Are there any other ones that we can use to help us out? What do we know about angles? You just used this. What else is there that I can use to help me out here, Eden? The HJL is what you're finding. So I can't use it to help me out if that's what I'm searching for. What's something on here that I know, and it's there, but I have to know something previous? Mackenzie? Not the right angle this time, because those aren't actually labeled. What is labeled? Take a look at your little letters down there. Elena, what do I have to know here? Okay, I do know that. Now, guys, I want you to look at something. H, J, K tells me what? 180 degrees. Aha! Uh -huh. Is that something I might need to know about this? If I know that part of it is 55? Yeah, so the straight angle here is important to us. 
The last